Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Battletech. Joining me is JK Lantern. Goddamn backstabbing Red Duke. The Liao Alliance, and it is a long engagement. This is gonna be interesting. Yes it is. Calculating course now, Commander. Oh, we need to get the yeah, uh, Black on. Knight I just, in the shop. I just realized that. I just realized that when I hit travel. Granted, we didn't lose anything on the Black Knight. Yeah, that makes this much easier. Good work, Yang. Well, let's see something here. I don't know where the other one's going to pop up. Just in case. Nope. Nope. No such luck. Since we actually have to get the alliance with Karita up before we can, uh, before we can get their alliance flashpoint. Yeah. More Holovids. One of the Cretan companies actually is still canonically releasing Godzilla movies. Hmm. Yeah. Like, it, in the Cretan handbook, it mentions that they've just released Gojira 3050, and I'm like, huh. They have Godzilla attack the Imperial City on Luthien? What the hell? <laughs> mm -hmm. I am going to check before we begin this flashpoint to see if there's like an easy Karita mission there. Okay. So we can do that and get their reputation maxed out so we can get the offer to a lie from them from uh, from Bob. Yep. Yeah, for, for the folks at home, the way we were planning on this evening to work out was we were really hoping to ally with both um, Karita and Liao tonight. And uh, get Red Hunt out of the way, and then get both Alliance flashpoints out of the way, so that we could grind this week, and then uh, do Steiner next time. <laughs> yeah, uh, that obvious. didn't happen. Yeah, that didn't quite pan Red out. Red Hunt took a little long, and it actually dropped our reputation with Karita instead of giving us the last three points we needed. Yep. Still, it was a good flashpoint. Yeah. I, I am annoyed it dropped our reputation. I just needed three points. And I don't think there was a way to actually gain reputation with them in that flashpoint. Yeah, I'd, I'd be surprised if there was. Still, I'm glad we I'm glad we stole a Comstar base. Yeah. <laughs> we ended up taking home a whole Annihilator and a whole Atlas out of that mission, too, for that flashpoint. That's kind of badass. I would like to thank the Draconis Combine for their for their generous donation of two assault mechs and assorted other mechs. Gotta keep paying them. The problem with this is it's such a long trip. Yep. Okay, before we do that... Absolutely nothing in the store. Got it.
We are in Davian space. There could conceivably be a Cretan raid over here. Yep. It would be a weird place, but yeah. Well, they have a holy. Of them. They are high difficulty. What is that? That's a recovery mission. And that is an assassination mission. Recovery may be faster. Okay. Yeah, there's absolutely no good sell. There's no good payment here. A half a million is not a lot of payment. So I might as well take the salvage because we may have some assault mechs. Hmm. Okay, and because this is that type of mission, I need speed. I need a little bit of speed to be able to run, run to point A and point B. Yeah. I mean, I'm close to drop being able to drop a lance and a half of annihilators. That's wrong on so many levels. Yes, it is. It may be wrong on so many levels, but hey. So are some of these missions. Look, if the game keeps dropping annihilators at me, I'm going to keep taking the pieces of them home. You you may as well. Uh, like... So let's see, what does that actually say? Rest retrieve the decryption key and extract. So we don't have... Oh, the operator's dead. I think we've done this type of mission a few times by now. Yep. So yeah, all we've got to do is get up there. Uh, what kind of place is this? All we got to do is actually walk into the zone... And then we get out, and I think it zipped all the way back here for an extraction point, but we will see. Yep. I have a feeling we're going to see quite a bit of a... You quite a bit of heavy tonnage directed our way. Just based on the fact that this is a big mission. Position confirmed. My way. Okay, I think just because I want to be able to actually get up there, I need to go up this ramp. Where are you? It's a 95 ton, so probably a banshee. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the three banshee. Yep. Uh, of all, mm -hmm. that that's certainly a mech they could choose to throw at you. And they did. Potato. That, that was less a potato and more of a mercy kill for that pilot. 
He he's in his pantry going like somebody please shoot me out. Well, we did. So far, that's aye, the aye. only mech that's popped up in radar. I've got some. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> it's Banshees and only Banshee. That's a hundred. Okay. There, there are good versions of the Banshee, the 3E, not one of them. I don't see anything else over there yet. What are you? You are a king crab. They shouldn't have that, but fine. Considering how many freaking annihilators I've seen. Yeah. It's it's a but nice change of pace. It is a very nice change of pace. So yeah, I'm gonna sp I'm going to run up there with the annihilator, another banshee, but not the three S or the that one's the three S and not the three E. The the three S is actually the good banshee. In fact, um, it's considered to be one of the best assault mechs of Intro Tech. Um, I copy. Along with like the Stalker and the Marauder too. So they've also got an eighty tonner over there too. Damn, they got, they got a chunky force here. Yeah, they do now. So let's see. The King Crab, I'm going to be able to just go full ham on in a second. Yeah, the King Crab is going to walk just into range of the, uh, yeah, that's an awesome. You know, I'm kind of more worried about that awesome than the Banshee a little bit. Not much, but let's see. I'll still shoot at the Banshee, but... Two potato! Ah, ah, ah! In old country, I was very poor. I only get one potato each night for dinner. But since I come here, I now make much money. Now I have two potato each night for dinner. I've got a sensor lock. Strip the evasion off. Cause I'm not, I mean, I know three large lasers do damage, but I think I can get more, um, I think I can get more use out of stripping the evasion off of these things now. Yeah, a little bit. Especially when I can just walk right up here. I mean, I'm going to have to go through the torso. That's the problem. Hey, Behemoth! C could you finish this thing off, please? I know it's got most of its... I know it's got a center torso mostly left, but, uh... No? Okay. It's fine. You know what? I'm not gonna blow up the King Crab. Actually, I hear ya. Now, the thing about the Banshee is it's better at multiple ranges Fire. than the Awesome is. 
The awesome does one thing really, really well. Is it fall over? It's about to be. Three potato! Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna put on so much weight. <laughs> Actually, that was... That was Star's mom's goal. She's like, we need to fatten you up. <laughs> Goodbye. It was kind of sad how that thing fell over. It looked like it was trying to stay up. It's like, eh, nope. Although the Annihilator did take quite a bit of armor loss there. The King Crab still had an AC-20 on it. Yeah. I mean, the King Crab is designed to kill anything standing immediately in front of it. Okay, we still have... Now, they're still hinting we need to go this way. Don't need to tell me twice. Okay. No. Well, that was easy. That was easy. That didn't take very long. No. And that should get our reputation with a Kurita maximum. So the instant we try to... The instant we travel anywhere, we should get the Alliance to pop up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that one bit just nearly stripped off the entire uh, left side of the Annihilator. <laughs> this is why you never get close to a King Crab. Yeah, well, getting close to the Annihilator was a worse choice. Yeah, that is very true. Well, let's see. Maybe we could finish off a 3S if we really wanted to. Yeah, we could. I mean, I'm taking the King Crab piece. It's a matter of principle. Yep. Ooh, good PPC. Yeah, decent PPC. Yeah. Not that any of our things currently use PPCs, but hey. The, the Strong Mad does. Hmm. It's been we a long time since it. we've used the Strong yeah, Mad. Yeah, it We haven't needed the 80-ton mech. Then again... Really good TTS is there. And we will get like 18 more things off of this list. You know, it just occurred to me. We have not seen what the Liao store has to offer. No, we haven't. We might get to soon, but not yeah. yet. The three is the bad one, so... Yeah. <laughs> let's let's go ahead and make sure we build the good one. I, I love the three E, but it's not good. It's not. <laughs> okay, they gave us two thirds of the awesome. Damn decent of them. They gave us another piece of the good banshee, a piece of the bad banshee. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Now the question is, where are the Liao stores? I didn't look that hard. <laughs> Not here, but, uh... <clears throat> like, I'm genuinely curious to see what they've decided that Liao specializes in. Okay, well, I believe, 
Okay, we still have 113 days before that time's out. The Liao store is over here. Victoria, really? Okay, um... So, Victoria... Victoria's an interesting planet. At the, the moment... The administrative it's... capital of the Capellan Confederation commonality. That's not true yet. It will be. Um, so, the at this at this point in time, the Victoria commonality is still part of the Cyan commonality. Um, once the 3050s, 3060s get on a roll, Victoria becomes a commonality capital. But why is that? Well, you see, the periphery planets in the Capellan Confederation start gaining more importance because they ally with periphery nations. And none more so than Victoria. Victoria actually has a hidden Star Lake research facility on it. It's been long abandoned. Um... <laughs> Hi, Bob. That's what you've been waiting for. Yes, it is. Um, so there's a Star League research facility here that's long been abandoned and like stripped of most useful things. And in fact, uh, a Capellan scientist is like, we'll never be able to get that up. And Spoilers! He's mistaken. With the help of part of Comstar, the Capellans actually get it up and running, and that is what winds up being the Shangli Arms uh, mech facility. Um, that becomes the factory that pioneers stealth armor, if I'm not mistaken, and it makes a whole ton of really cool mechs later. So there's the mish. There's the flashpoint. Okay. And I need to check something real fast. Yep, I have to clear both of these before I can start grinding for Steiner Rep. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to do that tonight, just because time is a thing. Yeah. L little bit of a late start, and again, that one that one flashpoint ran. I did not expect it to go two freaking hours. Yep. And we didn't have to redo any missions, it just went two hours long. Yep. Yeah, 50,000. Don't care. Fifty thousand is absolutely nothing. I probably have a few times that in heat sinks I can sell. Yeah, yeah. God, I'm I am Dying to see what the Capellans have. <laughs> Just to see how deeply offended I will be. You never know. Because, <laughs> like, a lot of the tech that the Capellans become known for um, aren't straight up weapon systems. Um, it could be a lot of mods and a lot of the, uh, yeah, a lot of the game specific mods. Fair. I mean, I say that, I have no idea. I mean, they are one of the factions that invents the LBX and the Ultra AC-20 down the line, but... Which we already got, we already found where those were coming from. Yeah, th those were from Davian, which makes sense, because they're the autocannon faction. I am deeply, deeply curious. Okay, the system store has pieces of the 1X Cataphract whole ass Jaeger mech if we wanted it. Piece of a raven. 
Gauss rifle, but I can't really I can't really afford to buy Gauss rifles. A couple of good snub PPCs. <sighs> They're cheap. It it's fine. It's fine. New weapon systems available. Bigger bigger fish to fry. We have plenty of ammo for all the ballistics. Yeah. Now yeah, let's see faction store here. Okay. A whole ass zero X cataphract and a piece of one. It bothers me that they're selling the zero X because again, only five of those got made. K two is a weird one for them to have because that dragon's weird for them to have. So we're the grand dragon. Yeah. Because those are definitely Karitan things. Eager Mac, Kintaro, Panther, Phoenix Hawk, a whole ass raven, two whole ass ravens of different, different things. Oh, that's the TSM one. Yep. Interesting. Plus 50% move, okay. Yep. That's what TSM yeah, so, is. Yeah, um, triple strength Mimer, uh increases speed and increases damage from physical attacks. That version of it, though, was a trap by House Davian. Okay, the Inferno's plus track. So they the have missiles. The boosted Short range SR range missiles. The boosted SRMs is weird for them, but I guess they're going with the logic of, eh, we had to stick them somewhere. The Infernos, though, track, uh... Ha also, House heat Liao... Banks. Heat House banks. Ooh, heat banks, nice. House Liao does like setting shit on fire, to the point that they're the ones who invent the Inferno Arrow 4, a.k.a. a war crime. They also invent the Plasma Rifle, a.k.a. a war crime. So... I wonder what... I mean, Unlimited Inferno, so I can buy them if I want. But what freaking ammo do they use? The... the so, Infernos, in theory, are just an ammo type you can load into a stock... Uh, a stock missile launcher. Specifically, a stock SRM launcher. Hmm. I don't know how they work in this game, but um, normally they don't do actual damage, they just shit, set shit on fire. They are missiles that release a whole ton of napalm goo. It does half the damage of an, an L SLM, SLM, SRM, or LRM. Well, it does normal damage because it's an advanced Inferno. Okay. But yeah, it does apply heat. Yeah. And um, it does really bad things to infantry and tanks in the tabletop game. Which matters less here, but... So, let's see. Yeah, I, I guess this is the devs genuinely going like... Uh, we need to stick the SRM somewhere. Let's give them to the Cappies. There's like one... one Karitan store. I mean, Where there's only it? two Liao. But the one Karitan store is all the way over here. Where is it? In... It, oh! That's way the fuck out there. I, I know what I'm expecting in the Karitan store. I would be expecting PPCs of all kind. It's 160. And that's 91. I'm gonna drop a save and then we're going to go all the way over here to see what they actually sell. Okay. If we actually do run out of time, I'll just I'll just reload. Yep. Yeah. 
But this is this is more for curiosities. Uh huh. So what would Steiner have then? <laughs> I, I know I know precisely what they would have. Or at least one of the things that they would have. Atlases? Well, yes. <laughs> but in terms of weapon systems, that's probably where you're going to find a really Ready good go Gauss on. rifle. Eh, maybe. Because uh, um, what, once the 3050s hit, like the Gauss rifle becomes the signature weapon of House Steiner. They love that thing. So yeah, we're we're just uh, we're just doing the in between stuff now. It's like why not? We we've, we've got a break for a minute. Yep. We might as well go see what Karita has on offer here. Although if it is just PPCs and snub PPCs, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So much travel. As much as I like PPCs in the tabletop game, I'm... I'm totally okay with us just, uh... I'm totally okay with the large lasers on the going with that. Yeah. Because it allows Correct. us to pack more armor on the damn things. Yep. Granted, for the strong, for the strong mad, I wouldn't mind better PPCs, but we don't use the strong mad, so. Eh. Yeah, we do not. It's also a black market here. Okay, regular store. Some good. See, that's why I was taking the TDSs because they're freaking they're, expensive. They're worth their weight in gold. Okay, let's see if these guys can. Uh, they shouldn't have the three S. Uh, just because that's Steiner specific, but uh, the K two tracks, the Dragon tracks, Highlander is weird, but okay, Kentaro. They could potentially have that. Phoenix Hawk tracks. Spider definitely tracks. Urban Mech's weird. The Trench Bucket 7K. They don't produce the Trench Bucket, but they were experimenting with that model. Wolverine tracks. Yeah, see? PPC, PPC. Snubby's weird, but fine. What's the difference between these? Lower heat. Extra stability damage. Extra damage. Okay. The Snubby should also have shorter range. Um, I think it does. I just wasn't looking at the range. Yeah. Range standard versus range very long. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, this, there were actually prototype Snub PPCs during the Star League era, but they're, they were few and far between. The Snub PPC basically... Peep, People were like, we hate the fact that our PPCs have a minimum damp minimum range. Because PPCs have trouble targeting at close range because of science. The the game gives a very hand wavy explanation about it. So the snub PPC actually like slices off part of the barrel effectively. And so that minimum range is gone. But the range for the snubby itself also drops off significant, drops off a bit. And also, as I recall, at longer ranges, the snubby does less damage. Um, the interesting side effect, because the way the tabletop game works, weapons have, 
weapon ranges are divided into short, medium, and long for each weapon. The snub nosed PPC has the longest short range of, like, any weapon in the game. Hmm. Well, since we're doing a whole lot of traveling here, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the video. Yeah. And when we get to the planet, we will uh, start up again and we will run ourselves another flashpoint. We will. So, until then... Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.